Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back trying Polish sweets and treats. Yeah, we did one of these quite a while ago. So this is a Years little bit ago. throwback Thursday. This. It is, yeah. Um, but this is a different selection of stuff. And I might say that this actually looks more appetizing than the last batch of stuff. I think so stuff. too. It was all a bit more subdued in branding, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it think was. We commented on how over here and in the US, the products are really like eye-catching. A lot of those products, maybe they were more traditional, but they weren't Probably. very like punchy, were they? And even down to the flavors were quite plain, yeah. whereas these seem like we've got much mm. more flavor. So I'm very excited. We've got some crisps as well, which I'm very excited about. Like us, if you enjoy trying treats and chocolates from around the world, we have boxes full of British chocolate and sweets. If you'd like to get yourself one of our boxes, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and that's a great way for you guys to support the channel we make and send out out those boxes ourselves and um, it brings us a little bit of joy to be able to share British goodies with you guys. It really does. We are also now accepting boxes which is super exciting because it's been a while since we've been able to accept boxes. Yeah. Um, we've got a Google Docs form down below. If you fill that in, leave your email, where you're from, what you'd like to send us, we'll, we've been getting in touch with some people who would like to send us boxes and yours might be one. Yeah and if you filled out that form really early last time and you still want to send us a box and you haven't heard from us that's because the form had a glitch and it didn't yeah. give us the email so we couldn't contact you so if you still want to send us a box fill out the form again Thanks. yeah and we'll get in touch with you soon thank you so much guys shall we crack in now yes let's do it we've got some crisps we've got some lays and then we've got a brand that i've never seen this looks really good for his snacky trupki oh, i recognize uh, bolka that's got to be onion hasn't it i think this is spring onion do they call it green mm. onion in some countries I think so. smells amazing these are like onion rings. I love onion rings, yeah. Mm. Mm. You're packed with flavour, aren't they? If you are from Poland, do say hi in the comments and let us know what of these are your favourite items to have. These are great. Delicious. Really packed with flavour. Lovely crunch on them. And light. Mm. I like how light they are. I love crisps like that. I know I keep saying about soup and it's really hot, but don't you think they'd be really good with You're soup? You're obsessed with putting things I know. on soup at the moment. I love putting what's it's in because the air the air gets like absorbed with soup mm. and they go a bit soggy. soggy. Personally, I'd I'd be more excited to try these in a dip. And that's a massive bag, isn't it? Mm. That's a party size. It is. Nice light flavour, nice crunch, a nice sort of puff. Absolutely delicious. Not like really greasy or anything. No. no. I'm going to give them a solid 8 out of 10. Same. Yeah, really, really good. Strong start. Yeah, I'm excited now for these. We've got two lays. We've got the bugle Ooh, yeah. um, type. Nacho. These say new. Nacho cheese. And then we've got what looks like more natural lays. Um, oh, paprika are these. But they're the crinkle wavy style and yeah this is paprika see it says smaku is that like smoked paprika do you oh, think maybe, yeah. but this is what a lot of you in america are like doing mm. nails i actually found one that fits on my finger <laughs> oh yeah, these are bigger yeah because the real bugle is from america say america's favorite finger hat. finger hat mm. Mm. i'm not necessarily getting nacho cheese no. I'm getting a nice cheesy. It's a nice cheesy flavour, yeah. I like the form that they're in. I like them. I'm going to rate them after these, though. Whoa, they look fully packed with flavour. Oh, wow. Here it goes. I love paprika. Don't get it like loads, do we? No. Mmm. Mmm. Sweet. Quite often when you get smoked paprika, Chris. There's like a sweetness to them. Mm. It's very close to a barbecue. Looking at these, I'm just thinking they're going to be like all dressed. These are delicious. Mm. I like the amount of crunch. The ridges are really nice. Really nice amount of crunch. And great amount of flavour. Mm. I think with these, we need to crack open a drink soon. I think so. Are you going bugles or smoke a paprika? Well, originally when I was eating the bugles, I was thinking the bugles. Mm -hmm. and I think it's got to be these. It's so good. Me too. The crunch is really, really delicious. I'm going nine out of 10 for these and maybe just a seven out of 10 for the nacho cheese. It's funny, like, you know how there's loads of different forms of having crisps and chips? Yeah. Bugles probably wouldn't be one of my favorite. I'd rather like a puff kettle, a wave. Or a potato, just a potato chip. Or just chip. a normal potato mm. chip. So they are good. They are really good. I would agree. Nine for the paprika and seven for the bugles. Yeah. We've got two drinks. Do you remember? We actually tried one of these drinks years ago, but not these flavours. They the look pool familiar, top. yeah. So we've either got apple lime si cactus, cactus or white grape aloe vera. Mm, I think white grape Me aloe vera. Me too. So. 
Oh, cool. Does it smell good? Yeah, a lovely fragrant smell. I was thinking that looks like a small oh. bottle. It's 250, not 330. That's small, mm. yeah. Cheers. This smells Cheers. absolutely divine. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Mm. It's literally aloe vera, but without the, um, the cubes. I think aloe vera, white grape aloe vera, is one of my favourite flavours of drink. It's so good, isn't it? It's just so refreshing. Yeah, and light. Mm. Fresh and... Want some more? Yes, please. Top you up. I'll give that 10 out of 10, but to get it to a 12, some little aloe vera cubes would be good. So you just want a glass of aloe vera juice? Yeah. <laughs> but that practically is aloe vera. If you look on the back of aloe vera, it says white grape. Yeah. The flavour's grape, isn't it? Yeah, but I guess if you're selling it in a thing like this, yeah. none of the others probably I wonder have. what the price Although it's cactus, is. you could probably have chunks in that. That's great. Divine. That's the only problem with 250. Like, that's gone. It's so small. And we've like literally had two tiny glasses each. Especially when you're at a restaurant. It's so disappointing. Yeah, point you don't get free a... refills over here. It's Dr. Gerard. Is this like the Polish equivalent of Dr. Erka? Yeah. Maybe. Now these look spongy, but I think they're going to be firmer. Are they going to be like a lady finger? Oh, I look, they've like got a... quite a few different things. Oh, these ones look fascinating. They look awesome. Like a little um, sandwich cake. With apricot flavour, is it? They look delicious. Yeah. I'm guessing this is like a strawberry with a cream. Strawberry and cream, yeah. Oh, there oh, we nice. go. Nice. They're a little bit like lady fingers, but I think a bit softer. It's funny, at the oh, same time, I want to kind of line a bowl with them and fill it with custard. Mm. Make a trifle with these. Mm. Oh wow, that's delicious. I thought that they were going to be really dry because mm. if you look at them and you feel them, they feel dry. But the cream and the jam really moistens it up. Gotta have a bit more of that. That is delicious. I love the jam they've used. It tastes like a Swiss roll. Mm. Mm. I love there's like a decent amount of jam. Oh there. yeah. But that's like on probably... something like this, they do the tiniest little scrape and you want a bit more. That's probably the most amount of jam I've seen in something like that. That is light and delicious, isn't it? They did have some other things. Did they have those other ones? I think they had those apricot oh. ones. Sorry, Al. But like, I wasn't sure they were going to be any good. They're amazing. Now, I know we say this a lot, but that would go really good with a cup of tea or coffee. Yeah. Sorry, off, off topic totally, but do you have it where you start a series? <laughs> and this all you, is very off topic. We haven't actually spoken about what we're watching in a while, and I think a lot of you enjoyed it because we could then discuss. Yeah. I am currently watching Umbrella Academy, and I haven't been able to watch much because of plans and and You've been everything, holiday. and and I just can't wait to just sit and watch some. <laughs> and I think later on tonight, I'm gonna have some time. You're so and excited. I'm so excited. You've stopped our filming to tell <laughs> <Yes>. us this. <laughs> so, who out there is an Umbrella Academy fan? I know I'm a bit delayed, but I had too much to catch up on. I'm not really like watching that much at the moment. Well, you kind of I've are. I've got stuff to watch. But... I think it could be worth mentioning. You're watching The Flight Attendant. The Flight Attendant, that's Anyone good. watching it? I started it, thought Kaylee it was a bit weird. Kruko. Don't yeah. you love it when you're really On into a, a series? Program, yeah. But let oh, us well, know if like... there's anything more this year that you've watched and maybe we haven't watched Well, it. that's like I was re-watching Parks and Rec. Oh yeah, you love and that. And I've already watched it before, but I couldn't wait to sit down and watch another, another episode yeah, yeah i love it when so it's a good, good program uh what are you giving those out i'm giving them 10 out of 10 I they are really really, really love good them. i really love them i'll give them a nine out of ten okay they're really really good okay now i thought they were going to be dry yeah. but they weren't <laughs> i definitely thought these were are going to be dry but i think they are going to be dry so we <laughs> shall see the delisana duo viscopti ze cacao Sponge biscuits with cacao. <laughs> I didn't see it said English under there. I was thinking that would be cacao. Okay, this is then. definitely a coffee or a tea treat, yeah. isn't it? Now, if these are good and they're more dry, they would be good for a trifle. Or, you know, everyone has those um, Neko wafers in America. Oh, no. I feel like, what? They look like they're really dry and crunchy, but actually they're really soft and spongy. Look at that, that was a good oh no. I thought it was a oh no. Oh, nice. Is it? It's like a kid's biscuit. It's often funny, but also really dense at the same, like yeah. it's got a chew. That would definitely be good for like a banana pudding mm. because it has enough to absorb. What are you giving those? I'm going to give them a seven out of 10. They're good, but like on their own, they're not the most exciting, yeah. but maybe with some ice cream would be good. Yeah. 
or as like a topping or with a tea or coffee, I think that'd be really nice. That's the thing. We're kind of just enjoying them as they are on mm. their own, but I feel like no one eats a box of Necco wafers, really. It's yeah. like for something. So maybe these are meant to be for something yeah. or dunking in tea and coffee yeah. to give it a bit more. Or like in a tiramisu, if they were kind of doused in some kind of alcohol, yeah. like Contro or whatever, that'd be really, really, be really good. Nice. And coffee. Should we try the Definitely next drink? Coffee. Yeah, let's try the next drink. So we've got apple lime cactus drink. So I wonder if we're going to notice the cactus much. So pull out. Don't, know. Don't kick me out. Oh, wow. Intel inside. <laughs> Is that Smell like an that. Intel i9 processor? Processor. Look at that colour. I wonder if that colour is quite natural, actually, even though oh, it looks oh. fake. We've had cactus something, haven't we? Mm. Oh. That is lovely. That is not what I was expecting whatsoever. Not quite as nice as the grape and aloe vera, no. but it is really nice and refreshing. Don't you find it? it really floral? Very is floral. Is that the cactus? I think that's the... Uh, is it like the lime mixed with the... Maybe it's the lime. Mixed with the cactus. Initially, I was a bit like, mm, that's interesting. Mm. But actually, it's really delicious. Mm. Do you remember when we were in LA and we went to the pit fire in mm -hmm. North Hollywood? Oh, my God. And they had those, like, drinks that you could have. There was, like, a watermelon and one. And they were there? refilled, And then there was, they? like, a minty one. Yeah. That kind of reminds me of that. I agree. Mm. It doesn't say mint, but Even I can definitely a get a minty flavour. Yeah. But if you were to choose out of them, you're going white grape. I'm going white grape and aloe vera. I'm going for the white grape, but that really is delicious and different. I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 7. Okay. It's so, like, it's especially with the weather we have at the moment, it's kind of perfect right yeah. now. It's very so refreshing. refreshing. Yeah. I'm so excited for these. I want us to try these next. Okay, what are these? Like cakes or I felt very or... decadent buying these. Yeah. They are marshmallow. They're marshmallow? Yes. So marshmallow in milk chocolate and marshmallow in white chocolate. But these they're strawberry fancy, shake flavour they? and these are creamy flavour. Yum! These are the fanciest marshmallows I've I ever know. seen. I know. Aren't the boxes just absolutely beautiful? I look those, little opens it. What are those ones called? Modest Mallow. They're, Modest. The marshmallow in themselves is really fancy, but it just comes in like a brown yeah. packaging. Whereas this is like the fanciest the fancy. branding I've ever seen the on box like is a lovely, marshmallow isn't it? product. I'm very excited for these. I wonder what they'll, the packets will be like mm. inside. I think they'll be in individual packets. Oh! Oh, oh, they're in rows. It's like a box of chocolates, but a box yeah. of marshmallows. I They've love this. They've definitely taken this to the next level, haven't oh, they? Oh, look, that says English in there. The Patsy Melzo marshmallow recipe was invented in 1936, same year as the Tim Bark by Jan Weddell, grandson of the E. Dot Weddell brand founder, Carol Weddell. When employees were thinking about the name for this unique delicacy, John Weddell asked them, what can you give a man who has everything? One of the people answered, only bird's milk. Yeah, the Patsy Melzko, um, meaning bird's milk, is a phrase meaning oh. something rare, unattainable, and thus desirable, unique, and wonderful. That's awesome. That's really cool. That's really it? cool. I love that there's two trays and that they're individually wrapped as well. Take one of these. Oh, these are pretty. Yes. Yeah. They're much smaller than I thought they would be from the outside. No, I think they're kind of what I was expecting. That marshmallow is like different to ours. Mm. This is like gourmet, but. It's more like a like a Look cream. How, like, aerated it is. Yeah. It is almost oh, like a cream, lovely. isn't it? Is that the cream on the bottom there? I think that's the cream you're tasting. And that bit there is the marshmallow. Wow. I love it. Mm. Do you? I'm not sure. It almost tastes like curdled milk to mm. me. I kind of wish it was more marshmallow, but I really like the flavours. The flavours are good. It's the texture, I think, that's throwing me just a the little bit. The texture's a bit weird, but the strawberry milkshake is spot on. Yeah, the white chocolate is, is nice. delicious. Yum. Because this is just creamy flavour, so we'll be able to tell here. Yeah, that's more just like marshmallow, isn't it? Oh. Is it? But yeah, it's not... It's not like marshmallow like no. us. It's almost like a, a set custard. Mmm. That's really weird. It's not like you could spring it. No. I don't Maybe think they you'd... do. They have gelatin in. I wonder. Maybe they don't. I don't know. And you wouldn't want to put that with a bit of chocolate between two graham crackers. No, either, I, don't I don't think, think it would melt. That is really interesting. Really interesting. I prefer these. It says gelling agent agar, and oh, that's what that like you a use instead of like gelatin. Yeah. So I think that's why they have this texture because they're not trying to be 
like those marshmallows. I think they are my number one. These number two. I'm I wasn't actually quite sure of these at all, but they're delicious. Yeah, I prefer these. The texture of these make me think a bit curdled. Yeah. But I really like those. They're much more plain, more simple. Yeah, and I really like the branding and the packaging, yeah. so that's really good. I'm giving the strawberry shape flavour like a nine out of 10, and probably these just like a, a six. I give the chocolate an eight, and I give the strawberry seven. Oh, hold on, I didn't realise. This is the same brand, E. Weddell. And it says toffee. Poor well, poor well it. Milk chocolate bar with toffee flavour filling. Contains alcohol. Wasn't expecting that, it's really soft. But it doesn't specify the alcohol. Oh, I don't think so. Ooh. Whoa. So soft. Yeah, it does have alcohol in it. The alcohol is really strong. Very strong. Woo! Get some hairs on your chest. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. wow. <laughs> is that like, ah, that it almost really burns. Strong. Nothing about the packaging of that is saying to I me thought it that was for kids. it's got alcohol in, you know. Usually the packaging of something with alcohol in looks fancy, kind of giving off that air of like, this is kind of a big deal. Yeah. But that just looks it's like just a normal chocolate bar. It's just hiding that is chocolate. Is it like- um... And because it even says like on the front toffee, it doesn't say toffee and alcohol, no. or toffee and rum. I know it says it there. Is it like rum? Or is it like It's a, hard to say, but I think so. For me, I wish there was no alcohol in there, but I can appreciate that some people love that flavour. And actually, I think out of all the alcoholic chocolates we've mm. had, it's quite it's quite a nice way me, of adding it. Yeah, me too. I wish it didn't have the alcohol in, because I think it'd be really nice on its own. But yeah, off things with alcohol in it, it's actually quite good. It, it adds like a richness. Sometimes with the alcohol ones, they have like a bit of a funny flavour that yeah. throws it off, but... I think they've balanced the flavour of that really well. And I well. like the way they've added it through the caramel. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's like a bit funny the way they add it. I feel like this E, e Weddell yeah. might be actually more of like a higher class, not a higher yeah. class, but high it's end. trying to be more high end, yeah. isn't it? Because it's, it's not your normal stuff. But... High end treats. Anyway, moving on. For the we've discerning got... um, human. What are you giving that out of 10? I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Yeah, I'll probably give it a 7. It's good. It's just not the kind of thing I'm used to. Yeah. Me now too. I just wish it was just the caramel. Me too. Princessa by Nestle. Longer. Longer. Longer than so before. So I'm guessing these are longer than before. We've got zebra flavor and summer edition. Pink pina colada summer edition. When I saw these over there, I knew they weren't because I could see it was like a wafer. But this Nestle branding kind of makes me think it's a yogurt. Yeah, I can like see a what you. Like a fruit corner or something. Like when they did the Greek. Yeah, yogurt. Greek yogurt. So I'm guessing the zebra one's like milk and white or like... Yeah, cookies and cream or something. Yeah. I like that it's all wow, in one piece Wow, I love though. the colour of that. Oh yeah. It's, it's just like epic. This is really. really like a wafer bar. Normally when you get wafer, it's all like in different sections and you kind of pick up a piece. This is just like a giant pink panther. Are you trying that first? Mm. I don't know if it's usually not this soft and it's just because it's really hot, but the stuff in the middle is really soft. Yeah. That's amazing. This is really good, actually. Is it got alcohol in? I don't think it's flavor? got alcohol, it's just flavour. That tastes like cookies and cream. That's amazing. Oh, that's nice. oh look, yours is actually wider a bit. Oh, that smells good. Mmm. Mm. That's amazing, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. Mmm. It's quite coconutty. Yeah. I'm glad I got those. I'm usually yeah. like anti wafer. Usually when we get wafer, I feel like they're more traditional in their mm, look. Because mm -hmm. this is quite like a really modern like branding to a wafer product, isn't that's it? That's why I was drawn to it, because I've not seen a wafer that's like that. Yeah. It definitely looks new and modern and fun, rather than just your massive pack, loads of little things. Yeah. This is much better, because then if you enjoy a wafer, you could probably eat that in one go. I like this. There's little specks of like tang. Yeah. Did you get yeah. any? That's nice. But I'm definitely going longer zebra for the win. That's one of the nicer wafer things I've had. It tastes like cookies and cream. I'm probably going to give that a 9 out of 10. And I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. I like the fun flavour. It's really good flavour. I think we've had slightly better wafers, but like more rich ones. Yeah. Like I really like those um, We really like the those XXL ones. Oh, you do? I think they were from Poland yeah, or something. Yeah, I saw them, but um, we already tried. So I think they're better. Or we had some hazelnut ones I really loved as well. See, that's the thing. You enjoy a lot of those ones. Yeah. 
and most of the wafers we've had are like hazelnut or chocolate. This is chocolate, but it's different. Yeah, so I think I'll give this one an eight out of 10. I think I'll give this one a seven. Yeah, very nice. A five, six, seven. <laughs> How exciting. Um, I think my treat of the week this week it is a toughie. It's a toughie. But I think it's gonna have to be the Dr. Gerard. Really enjoyed these. Love the little bit of sponge, little bit of cream, They're and the really lovely delicious. bit of jam running all the way through it. So nice. Can't wait to have one of those with a cup of tea. I think I might say my treat of the week is this. Really? And this. Oh yeah, the drink was good. The drink is very yeah. delicious. Yeah, these are just so different and I'm a sucker for that strawberry milkshake flavour, yeah. especially with the white chocolate. I was close to saying the um, oh, onion yeah. rings or the paprika crisps, yeah. but I think it's a Dr. Gerard They're for me. They're different, yeah. you know, we can get lots of those crisps, yeah. but did you enjoy that? I did enjoy it, did you? I did enjoy that. I think that was a more success than the first shop we went to. I feel like this shop I went to is much more kind of the locals go there, I yeah. think, that are from Poland. Yeah, and I know it was a long time ago, but I think this stuff has been more tasty, yeah, more exciting I think so. to try. Remember, yeah. we tried those like puffs and they yeah, had no flavor. No flavor yeah. <laughs> But that's what the person in the shop told you to get. I know, they? I know, but anyway. Right. right, if you'd like to grab yourself a box of British treats from our website, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, we've got a whole website full of delicious British goodies. And if you buy one of those boxes, it helps support the channel. And if you would like to support the channel, but you don't want to get yourself a box, there's also the thanks button down below. Yeah, and if you'd like to send us a box from your country or you think you've got something interesting you can send us, then we've got a form down below and you can fill that out and we'll get yep, in touch with you. We really will. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.